Hello cyber security career aspirants. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anand Guru and I am here to help you get your first cyber security job. In this video, we will learn about installing Splunk on CentOS. This is a three part video series. In part one, we will take a look at step by step instructions on installing CentOS on VirtualBox hypervisor. In part two, we will make appropriate configurations on CentOS to prepare for seamless Splunk installation. And part three will explain the steps to install Splunk on CentOS. So let's start this by downloading the CentOS ISO file. In order to do that, we have to visit the website centos.org slash download. We need the CentOS Linux and an ISO file. So let's click on this x86 underscore 64. Next, we need to select a mirror from where to download the file. We should be downloading the file that ends with minimal ISO, approximately 1.7 gig file. So I will not download this file because I already have it downloaded here. So now let's begin the installation of CentOS. On the virtual box, I'll click on new to spin up a new virtual machine. And it asked me to fill the details of the virtual machine. So because I'll be installing Splunk on this box, I will be calling it as Splunk Lab. It is asking me to select a folder where the installation files needs to be stored. I will select a different path apart from the default path there. The type of the operating system that we are trying to install is obviously Linux. And the version is supposed to be CentOS, but VirtualBox does not provide us an option to select CentOS. So we will choose the closest kernel that is Red Hat 64 bit. I click on continue. Here I assign the RAM required for the machine. In this case, I'll give it 4 GB and click on continue. It's asking me to create a virtual desk, so which I need one. So I'll go with VDI and dynamically allocated. It. it is storing it in the same place where I stored the configuration files. By default, it gives 8 GB, which is not sufficient for Splunk. So I'll make it as 80 GB and click on create. So the configurations are all set. Now I need to load the ISO file onto the CD. So I click on settings, storage, and on the CD drive here on the right hand side, I will choose the disk and select the CentOS ISO file that we downloaded from the website. Click on OK. So we are all set to begin the installation. So I'll hit the start button. So because we have a CD inserted, it will take us to a prompt where it will ask us to begin installing CentOS. It will start copying the necessary files for the installation. And at one point, it will ask for further details to complete the installation. So here it is. At first, it is asking us the language. So by default it is English, which is good. So I click on continue. And then it is asking us to select the installation destination. So when I click on there, it is automatically selected the hard disk, the only hard disk that is available. There is a check mark here. So I'll just click on done. And we are all set to begin the installation. So while the installation is happening in the backend, we can set the root password. Now this root password is used to log into the CentOS operating system. Depending on the resource available on your host machine, the installation might take somewhere between 20 minutes to 40 minutes. 
So I'll be pausing the video now and let's meet again on the other side of the video once the installation is complete. Okay, the installation is now complete and it is asking me to reboot the system. But before rebooting the system, we have to remove the disk that is inserted. So I'll go to the settings, storage, the disk and on the right hand side here, we will remove disk from virtual drive. So this will ensure that when we reboot the system, it will actually boot into the operating system rather than again reinstalling the OS. So now I will issue the reboot command. And when it comes back up, it should have a CentOS installed. Because we have removed the CD, it will start directly booting up the CentOS it has installed. So right now, this is the boot process, trying to check if all the necessary drivers and other files are in a good state. And once the boot process is complete, it will give us the login prompt where we can use the credentials to log in to the CentOS. So here it is. The username will be root and password will be the password that you have entered during the installation process and we have successfully installed CentOS on VirtualBox.